Hey, Mike Phil's down here at the Dr. Beasley's operating room and our demo truck has just arrived. Let me show you what those scratches look like in the sun. There we go. Go ahead and back her on in, Angel. Cool. This will be a challenge. So these are technically called wiper marks. We call them scratches, but it is hard to talk about scratches if you don't have a term for the type of scratches wipers actually put in. So we call them wiper marks. So before we get started here, I just like to document the condition of the glass. So we're going to be using the Dr. Beasley's NSP GL glass polish. Okay, so uh, this is a glass polish that can be used for both topical glass polishing and subsurface glass polishing. Now this is my friend's 19, uh, 1987 GMC Silverado Stepside Shorty. And he bought it this way with these horrible wiper marks in the glass. Now. Luckily, they're mostly on the passenger side, but there are the typical swirls and scratches everywhere in the glass. So our goal is to, I like to aim for 100% correction, but if we even hit 90% on this, uh, I'll be satisfied, I know he will be too. This thing is going in for a paint job, and this is gonna be one of the cars that we use for our uh, machine dry sanding classes here at the OR in Stewart, Florida. So um, stay tuned for announcement about that. But just to document, you can see the wiper marks clearly in this before video. And of course, we'll come back and take an after video when we're all done. Okay, so here's my product. Cord over shoulder. After the live video, Angel and I tag teamed the windshield and continued to meet machine polish for about two hours. Now, during the live video, all I did was I run the polisher back and forth in a straight line for about 10 minutes. And that was just to show that using a rayon pad with the Dr. Beasley's NSP GL glass polish, that you could in fact take out serious wiper marks. I mean, I could have brought in a car or a truck that had very light scratches and made the point, but I wanted to show something in an extreme way just to show everybody how well this polish works. And if I can remove the amount of scratches I did just after 10 minutes, imagine what you can do if you start actually putting some time into this. So Angel and I, we buffed this out for two more hours after the live video. That's a long time, but you gotta remember, glass is very hard. It does not correct like car paint. So you have to put some time and effort into it. And like I pointed out in the video, there's three reasons people might not wanna replace glass. One, maybe glass just isn't available. Two, um, to take the glass out, they might find cancer or, or rust. Cancer is a term we use for really bad rust. And that means they're gonna turn a windshield replacement project into a restoration process. Another reason is maybe they just wanna keep everything original. But you can see that if you just stick to it, you can actually remove the scratches. So we've been buffing for two hours. We took a couple water breaks, right? Yep. For the most part, solid buffing. Airports in, it's kinda of noisy. And uh, now it's time for the big reveal. So. This is, as you can see, can you pan up here and walk up here, show how messy this is. See all this? And there's splatter all down this plastic, okay? So when I tell people this is a messy job, you know, it's not like you're gonna buff for a couple seconds and it's not messy. We did this for two solid hours. So we'll go ahead and uh, wipe this off and pull the plastic off and come back for the big reveal. Okay, so we did an initial wipe off the uh, on the glass. Now, Angel and Drake, they're just kind of untaping and pulling the plastic forward. Remember, this is completely covered with uh, splatter, little splatter dots everywhere in here. So we're trying not to get the truck all messy. 
And now you can see what I was talking about earlier. See the tape frame I made around the window frame. And by doing this, it makes it quicker, faster, and easier to tape the plastic. So instead of like cutting a hole in the plastic and trying to tape the plastic to the gasket here, you put this tape frame around, cut the hole in the plastic, and then tape the plastic to the tape frames. Quicker, faster, easier, and neater. Now, I also think I mentioned that, that you really wanna secure this tape good because once it lifts, it's game over. And I, I, I pushed this down with the towel and I'm happy to say it didn't lift anywhere. So we'll go ahead and pull the tape off. We'll give this a final wipe and then it'll be the final results. So here are the final results. Angel and I, we, we buffed on this for two hours. We kind of traded back and forth. He'd buff on one side, I'd buff on the other side. Cause I'm telling you, this will take a toll on your deltoid muscles and your back muscles. And, um, uh, and, and all the shallow stuff is now gone. I mean, this thing had massive, massive wiper marks. And here's what we use to do the polishing work. We use the new Dr. Beasley's NSP GL glass polish. Rayon pads, five inch. We didn't use the three inch, but for some windshields, you really do need this. Plus they work good for just tackling isolated defects and a flex rotary polisher. Uh, when we were done, we did go ahead and put the bead hero on as a ceramic coating. And as you can see, this thing came in looking really, really bad. And now it's leaving here looking really, really good. Angel, would you replace this windshield or redrive this car? Yeah, I'd drive it at least so you got a rock chip, then replace it because it oh, looks yeah. pretty good. Anyway, you can get all these products up at drbeasleys.com. And something else I'd just like to point out is we teach glass polishing, both topical and this type, which is called subsurface, in all of our detailing classes. So get signed up and you'll learn paint correction, dry sanding, boat detailing, glass polishing, engine detailing, you name it, we cover it. They're the most hands-on classes on planet Earth. And I hope to see you at a future detailing class.